Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and in this video, I want to talk about how to use podcast interviews to promote your book. Uh, so how do you get your first interviews booked, as well as how do you go on what people call a podcast interview book tour? <laughs> So I'm sure you've heard of them. Maybe you listen to them, and that's podcasts. Podcasts are growing. It's that they're, they're reaching an all-time high when it comes to listenership, when it comes to downloads. Like Everything is up and to the right, and podcasts are really booming. Spotify is moving into the podcast world. You've got Apple Podcasts. Like Podcasts are just really growing, and podcasts are a really great way to promote your book. Now, if you've seen any big-time author uh, go on a book tour or do a big promotion of their book, uh, these days, a huge portion of that is going on to podcast. And here's why, because they know that podcasts actually move books. So the old ways of promoting books is like you get on TV or you do the book tour, all those things. I'm not going to say it's dead, but it's just less effective. And podcasts are working much, much better. So People know that when they go on a podcast, they're actually going to move books. And a good buddy of mine, Hal Elrod, you know, he wrote it and published a book called The Miracle Morning. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And he talks about how he went on some of the big shows. So I'm talking like Today Show, Good Morning America, like that sort of thing. Hardly moved the needle. And he did a podcast tour. So I think he's done over 200 podcast interviews about The Miracle Morning. And that is what he attributes the success of his book to. It's going on all these podcast interviews because guess what? People who listen to podcasts also buy books. They're the type of people who want to grow, they want to learn, they want to invest in themselves, all those things. So anytime I talk to a big time author, podcasts are a major part of their book launch, but then also the long-term promotion of that book and the long-term growth of their business. As for me personally, I do about 10, maybe even up to 20 or 30 podcast interviews every single month. Why? Because I know it's gonna help me sell more books and I know it's gonna help me get more customers for my business. So now you know why podcasts and why author interviews are important. Now let's talk about the main places that you can go to get interviewed. And then let's talk about how do you book podcast interviews to promote your book and to grow your business. So there's really kind of four main places that you can go. Obviously these, the opportunities are unlimited, but there's the main one, which is directly on podcasts. So then that gets distributed, you know, in Spotify, that gets distributed in the podcast app uh, and all those things. If you're, if you're an iPhone user or a Mac user, or any of those things. Um, so that's the first place. But also, and this is the thing that not a lot of people think about, is there's other places where you can do author interviews. So they might not be a podcast interview, but they're author interviews. So you can do live streams or interviews on YouTube, or sometimes you can do both, right? A lot of podcasts that I go on, they record video and audio. So no now all of a sudden that has more life to it. So it's in the podcast apps, but it's also on YouTube. And you can also do an Instagram Live or a Facebook Live, right? And then you can do a Facebook Live inside of groups specific to types of people who might like that book, so might like your book, or might be interested in your business. So those are kind of the four main places, and obviously there's a whole lot of other places that you can go uh, to get interviewed. Maybe you're choosing to do TV, maybe you're choosing to do radio. Um, those things still work, they're just a little bit less effective, but it depends on your goals, right? Uh, maybe if your goal is to, is to sell books, then podcast interviews interviews, of course, all day. If your goal is for publicity and your goal is to say, hey, I want to be kind of a local celebrity and I want to build credibility like I'm someone that's on TV, well, then you can definitely do that. Target the local market and I'll kind of get into all that in just a little bit. But So those are the different types. Now let's go through the process of how do you land your first publicity, speaking, and podcast opportunities. So it really comes down to three things. Number one is getting clear on your hook. So your hook is kind of like why people should pay attention. Your hook is the headline or the title of the interview. I don't have time to fully unpack that in this video, but I've got some training that I'll tell you about in just a little bit where I'll unpack that concept and help you come up with a hook. And so that's the first thing. And the second thing and really, where I really want to spend some time is the actual outreach and actually getting booked on podcasts, getting booked on the radio, TV shows, things like that. So there's kind of two main components here. So there's the first piece, which is what I call the three R's, and it's research, referrals, and reach outs. And what I want you to do here is make a list of 10 podcasts that you wanna be on. Maybe it's uh, 10 radio, local radio shows that you could be on, 10 TV stations locally that you can do an author interview on those TV stations. So there's the research phase, but then this is the most important piece, this, there's the referrals phase. And this is what I call advocates, okay? So advocates are people who can refer you and make an intro. Now, uh, I want you to think about right now, think about who are three to five people that you know 
that might have a podcast or run a podcast or who are three to five people that you know that might work in the radio or work in the newspaper or work in TV and all those things. Think about that. And chances are, yes, you do know someone. A lot of times people are like, I don't know anyone. Yes, you do. Go on your social media, go on your Facebook, go on LinkedIn, rack your brain. Do your parents know someone? Does your family know someone? Does your cousin know someone? Uh, all it takes is a little bit of research. And yes, you do know someone. You just have to do a little bit of work. And here's kind of a cheat code here is I would post on Facebook or LinkedIn. Hey, do I know anyone who has a podcast? Or do I know anyone who works in radio or in the TV station or any of those things? Or do I know someone who knows someone who works in any of those places, right? Um, so that's your referrals or advocates phase. And then there's the reach out phase. So I've got a bunch of templates and things that you can use for that. Um, but reaching out and just saying, hey, I think this might be a fit. You've got your hook, you've got the reach out, uh, and then you get booked. So that's step two. And then number three, you got to deliver and also deliver in a way that drives sales of your book. So you got a clear call to action as well as if you care about this, that drives leads and customers for your business, all right? So those are the three things on how to land publicity, speaking, and PR opportunities, as well as how to turn those opportunities into book sales and paying customers. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope that you're convinced that you need to use publicity, podcasts, and speaking, not only in the launch of your book, but also for selling more books after the fact and for growing your business. I wanna tell you, I've done this. I've seen all of the biggest authors do this. This is one of the single greatest things that's helped me sell books and helped me grow my business is focusing on this. So focusing on PR, focusing on publicity, podcast interviews, even sometimes doing TV interviews, all those things that just feeds into the ecosystem and helps me sell more books, helps me grow my business. So I hope that you'll do this. I hope that you'll implement this. Now, uh, what I want you to do right now, uh, we've got a training that will help expand on this. So I've got a 45 minute training. It's all about how to get your first five, what we call gigs booked. So this is really just your first five publicity and speaking opportunities books. So if you want to use publicity, podcasts, all those things to sell more books and grow your business, you do not want to miss this training, okay? Um, so scroll below this video. There will be a link with the description. Click that link. It'll be in the description. Register for that training. I'm going to make a bold promise and say that this will be the best 45 minutes that you spent on publicity and speaking for your books and for your business, okay? I really bring the goods uh, on that training. It's going to be super, super helpful. So scroll below this link uh, and go ahead and register for that training. Now, also, we have our PR and speaking for authors program. So if you want to go more advanced or if you know like, hey, I just want to start there, like let's work together. Can you help me implement this? Uh, all those things. Uh, just book a call with my team at self dash publishing school.com forward slash apply. We'll help you get your first or your next five publicity and speaking opportunities uh, and then use those publicity and speaking opportunities to sell more books and to grow your business. All right. Um, so I'd love to hear your takeaways on this video. And um, what were your biggest takeaways and how can you implement this for your books and for your business? Scroll below this video right now comment. We read and respond to just about every single comment. So scroll below this video, comment right now. I can't wait to hear your takeaways. As always, click the like button and click the subscribe button. So go ahead and subscribe uh, to this channel and also to the Self-Publishing School podcast. And I'll see you in the next video. Talk soon.